Hello again everyone. I just thought I would pop in while it's at the end of the Easter weekend to read another of my favourite stories. Hopefully you've managed to have some good time with your families and maybe played loads of games or played Lego or made Play-Doh or been outside in the garden or outside in the yard doing things that are really fun. But mainly spending time with your family and all getting on really well and all looking after one another. So the story I want to read this time I'm going to switch it around a wee bit in a moment, but I thought we would read Funny Bones. Funny Bones is just so funny. So I'll stop the camera for a moment, flip things around, and then you can see the pictures too. Okay, enjoy. Funny Bones by Janet and Alan Olberg. This is how the story begins. On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. In the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. Down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons lived. There was a big skeleton, a little skeleton, and a dog skeleton. One night, the big skeleton sat up in bed. He scratched his skull. What shall we do tonight? he said. Let's take the dog for a walk, said the little skeleton, and frighten somebody. Good idea, the big skeleton said. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton left the dark, dark cellar, climbed the dark, dark staircase and stepped out into the dark, dark street. They walked past the houses and the shops. They walked past the zoo and the police station. They went into the park. The big skeleton scratched his skull. What shall we do now? he said. Let's play on the swings, said the little skeleton, and throw a stick for the dog. And frighten somebody. Good idea, the big skeleton said. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton, and the dog skeleton walked round the dark, dark pond, past the dark, dark tennis courts, and up to the dark, dark swings. The big skeleton and the little skeleton played on the swings. They threw a stick for the dog. Suddenly, something happened. The dog skeleton chased the stick, tripped over a park bench, bumped into a tree, and ended up as a little pile of bones. Look at that! The big skeleton said, he's all come to pieces. What shall we do now? Let's put him back together again, the little skeleton said. So the big skeleton and the little skeleton put the dog skeleton together again. And they sang a song while they did it. The toe bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the backbone. Then they got mixed up. Is that a toe bone? The little skeleton said. Where does this one go? Said the big skeleton. When they had finished, the big skeleton said, That dog looks a bit funny to me. So he does, said the little skeleton. We've got his tail on the wrong end. And his head. Foo! said the dog skeleton. At last the dog was properly put back together again. The big skeleton and the little skeleton sang another song. These bones, these bones can bark again, can run around in the park again, can frighten people in the dark again. The big skeleton scratched his skull. 
That reminds me, he said. We forgot to frighten somebody. Let's do it on the way home then, said the little skeleton. Good idea, the big skeleton said. So the big skeleton, the little skeleton and the dog skeleton left the dark, dark swings, went out into the dark, dark town and tried to frighten somebody. The trouble was there wasn't anybody. Everybody was in bed. Even the policemen in the police station were in bed. Even the animals in the zoo. Of course, the skeleton animals were awake. Let's have a ride on the elephant skeleton, the little skeleton said. Let's have a word with the parrot skeleton. The big skeleton scratched his skull. Let's keep out of the way of the crocodile skeleton, he said. When they were back in the street, and when they still could not find anybody to frighten, the big skeleton said, What shall we do now? The little skeleton scratched his skull. Let's frighten each other, he said. That's better than nothing. Good idea, the big skeleton said. So after the big skeleton frightened the little skeleton, the little skeleton frightened the big skeleton, the big skeleton and the little skeleton frightened the dog skeleton, and the dog skeleton frightened them. Meow! Woof! They hid round corners and frightened each other. They climbed up lampposts and frightened each other. They jumped out of dustbins and frightened each other. All the way home. And that is how the story ends. On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. In the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. And down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. In the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons lived. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a great story. And please enjoy as many different stories as you can at the moment while you're at home. Keep sharing books with your parents and we'll see you all soon. Bye.